Today in this video I'm going to show you how to fix video TDR failure error on Windows 10 or 11. This section provides to fix video TDR errors on Windows. However, before we can fix the video TDR failure, we need to enter the recovery mode of the computer. Step 1. Force shutdown twice and reboot. Step 2. Select startup settings in advanced options. System files can become corrupted or replaced by incorrect files during updates. Fortunately, Windows provides a system file checker. It can detect the necessary files and fix errors and can help restore your PC to optimal performance. Enter Winner and navigate to Troubleshooting Ren Cluck on Advanced Options, then click to Command Prompt. When the Command Prompt interface shows on the screen, input the following command and press the Enter key on your keyboard. SFC slash scan now and wait for the SFC scan. To finish scanning your computer, wait for the system file checker to finish scanning your computer. In the case of a discrepancy, the utility will restore system files and fix all errors related to them. After that close the command prompt by typing exit and click continue you will see that. By clicking on continue, the PC will restart immediately and see if the computer boots. Properly or not if the computer does not boot, go to the next solution. The video TDR failure error may be caused by the bootloader not completing loading. Performing the Windows startup repair will find and fix the problem force shutdown twice. And reboot. Then select startup settings in advanced options and click on startup repair option. Startup repair doing this often fixes the problem. Reinstall or update the default graphics drivers since you can't boot the computer. Successfully, you need to enter the safe mode to do this work. After access safe mode, you can follow these steps to update the drivers. First open. Device manager. Then unfold the display adapter section. Thereafter right click the display device. And choose uninstall. Check delete the driver software for this device if you see the following window. Press uninstall. At last, you can restart your computer to see whether it can boot normally. If the computer can boot successfully, you can go to the device manager and use the scan. For hardware changes option to update the driver to the newest version. Besides this way, you can also go to the manufacturer's official site to download and install the latest driver version manually. After doing these hopefully your problem is fixed. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.